Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel and welcome to your daily Twin Flame reading. This is a check-in for Divine Feminine Divine Masculine Collective. We're gonna do a classic read today. I'm still traveling around Ireland this week. I'm here for a spiritual retreat with beautiful Bridget Nielsen and so let me just move this a little. <laughs> and so I didn't want to miss this few days completely. So I'm doing something, you know, let's appreciate what we have, right? And I have, as promised, started uploading videos, not uploading, publishing videos with the monthly horoscopes. Um, so we already should have four of them available now as I speak. And two more are coming out just hours away. So you'll have six, essentially half of the zodiac cycle available between Cancer and Sagittarius. And for everything else, I will be recording. Um, maybe I'll start or I'll continue Monday, but I'll definitely carry on Tuesday and Wednesday to finish up with all of them. All right, so let's start with an Oracle card without further ado and see what we have for the Divine Feminine's watching. All right, so we have a seer. See beyond the current situation. Yeah, so I'm immediately getting that. <sighs> whatever is going on, whatever is bothering you, Divine Feminine, so whatever you have questions on is happening for a reason, and the reason is to highlight something to you, to, you know, this is part of the manifestation of the cleansing you were doing for the full moon uh, in Capricorn that we just had a week ago. Um, so yeah, essentially it's teaching you a lesson, or if you have questions, you're remembering some past situations that you realize you never had closure about, you didn't understand what happened. That's your chance to uncover some of that truth now. Maybe there is something happening that's repeating the pattern, and that's why, if you were wondering. <laughs> okay, for the masculines, we have Oracle. Wait for important information. I'm pretty sure we had the same card for the masculines yesterday, and you saw me just pulling it out of the middle of the deck. There's no way <laughs> I could have known that, but to me, it's a continuation of the story, so we're working with the same collective, right? And it's still relevant for masculines, which makes sense that uh, if you remember, I actually read the uh, description of this card from the book and it was more about if, you're, if your brain is trying to get you to take action, wait until you get guidance, until you get intuitive message, until you get a sign from the universe and then act, right? So it's really important to use your discernment at this time for whatever decision you're making, even if you feel like you're out of time, even if somebody else is pressuring you, it's really, really important. Do not take action until you get more information. And I'm using my Salama Dark for the May read. All right, I'm doing the usual spread. Bottom of the deck, the handman. Yeah, so both twins, and that to me also a logical continuation of the energy we saw in the recent couple of days. And we get the seer, the oracle, you know, it's not the action taking cards, right? It's about knowledge, it's about understanding. It's about analyzing certain information. Okay, let's get some clarifiers. And... We have Knight of Swords here. Yeah, so this is communication. So that's the, if you're, if you are feeling rushed or pushed to take an action, um, the spirit suggests that you turn it into communication, right? It's almost that, like, you can either talk to the person who's pushing you to action to understand why, what's going on, or if it, you can use some third party resources to get more information on what is this situation about depending on what it is, of course, right? Like, you don't need to make a quick decision, but how do I say this? You can give your brain satisfaction of making a decision by essentially communicating, because that's very close to, the, like, that's 
taking steps still, right? Taking steps to being closer to making a decision. <laughs> uh, for the feminines, we have judgment and six of cups. Yeah, there's some sort of realization about your higher power, your, your guides I'm getting here. Um, and some kind of connection with some stories of the childhood. There's also a, for a lot of you, there's a possibility to heal certain, um, a certain scenario from the childhood, right? So your angels are around you, that's what I'm getting, right? You have the, now you have the capacity that you need, energetic, emotional, um, mental, to be able to deal with it. You know that when we are children, well, not even at, as adults, but more so when we are children, Sometimes our nervous system is just not ready to process certain information, to deal with it in the moment as it happens, because it's just too traumatic, right? So our psyche suppresses it, and it, it lives there. It still lives on. Obviously, we remember, but on that deep level, right? So this is time where you're ready to peel off another layer and go deeper and find out what it is and deal with it. And I'm sure you're already getting some nudges of, what what I'm talking about, which area of your life. <laughs> With the masculines, we get Ten of Pentacles and the world. We also got the world yesterday, right? We keep getting these cards of the cycles moving. Uh, but the difference today is the Ten of Pentacles is the card where the action is actually on, or there is something that the masculines can influence here. If before it was Wheel of Fortune, the world, it was all kind of like divine intervention, more or less. Now this is a lot about the perception of the masculine themselves, right? And this deck, Ten of Pentacles, for me, has a lot to do with environmental consciousness, understanding that we are all one, especially when you think about the concept of abundance of resources and how you use them, right? Because Pentacles are not just money. It's the most obvious part of it. <laughs> But it's not everything. So, masculines are considering resources in general, how they're being spent by people in their life, generally in the community, in the society, and also how they spend they how they perceive themselves. How do I get resources? How do I share them out? Right, like the philosophy around it. This is Jan Marit, so I can go into a lot of detail here because there are many stories. But what I would say is that there's definitely some kind of cycle, that karmic cycle that's closing for the masculines with that regard. And that's, the, that's such a vivid example for them that they now cannot deny that, yeah, there is something unhealthy about the way most people deal with money or collect resources or... Maybe they manipulate others to get ahead in life, something along those lines. It becomes very, like if they somehow justified it before, now it becomes clear why it's not okay. Additional question, Three of Pentacles clarified by Ten of Pentacles. How do we work together towards our happy life? Right? How are we working together? The guides are correcting me. How are the twins working together? get closer to union what's the side of the feminine it's a very interesting question to ask when we actually have the spread is for each of the sides right so how is the feminine contributing to this teamwork <laughs> so the bottom line is that you always work together so even if you feel like it's only you and nothing is changing on your twin side it's not really the case right it may be that at the at a certain moment in time you're working through different scenarios, concepts, patterns, contracts. You're working with your stuff, they're working with theirs. Because as much as you have a mission together and you're complementing each other, each of you has a mission separately too. Include a mission with the ancestry line, you know, with the families where that you were born into, etc. etc. And so this is a reminder that as much as it seems we're working apart, we actually you can Imagine this as a kind of a, I don't know, savings account or money box, right? Where like each person is like uh, putting in something, right? Contributing to that savings account. 
right and the account is growing each person is doing their bit and yeah it's not always the same amount of money from each or it's not exactly at the same time but it doesn't matter the larger picture matters and that's what that is about so for the feminines we have page of wands clarified by seven of swords <sighs> yeah so the for the feminines i'm getting that this is um being brave to live your life in the most authentic way and this comes to even little things so it may seem like it's pretty obvious when it comes to big decisions or like questions of morale right but there are day-to-day -day little things where we lie to ourselves we lie to other people uh, you know, not with a malicious purpose necessarily, but still, we're telling the truth, how we truly feel or what we want or how we feel about the situation at least, right? Are we okay with what's been offered or not, etc., etc., right? And this is the move towards or like making ch certain changes in life, right? Like learning these new ways. How do I respond differently so it's more authentic? Still, it's not hurting people necessarily, unnecessarily, I'm sorry, but it's also effective. So I don't have to make up stories. I don't have to pretend like I like something or I'm happy when I'm not. Very interesting. For masculine, so we have the chariot clarified by three of cups. Yeah, so for masculines, the scenario that they're working through is <sighs> making progress in the eyes of the public and that would have to do especially with this card with like the status with the relationships with what's what's on the outside you know like i don't know maybe their family expects them to or their culture whatever society where they uh, operate expects them to i don't know get married by 30 or i don't know within their first five years of their career get a car and maybe a mortgage on the house something along those lines like there are certain external validators of success of being cool whatever it is maybe of some kind of um of the looks and style it can be anything Whew, i apologize for my nose i got <laughs> um big time allergy in ireland it's it's a mess. <laughs> I can't wait to go back to States, at least for that part, but um, we are where we are. Um, yeah, so the masculines are basically uh, learning how to get rid of those, right? Or how to not worry about that as much. And that's why we have the major arcana here. So the divine is helping them understand what's the real movement forward about. It's not about hitting the marks that people made up that are artificial that maybe you don't even feel like you're ready for, but the, there is a society pressure or a peer pressure, and uh, that's why you're doing it. No, that's not a good reason, really. Working through those topics. How are the feminine seeing the connection at this time? Wow, oh my God. Two aces, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. So feminines really see the real opportunity to build something I mean, real, really see real opinion to build something real with stamps. Sorry, that's the downloaded message. <laughs> um, yeah, so they can see how that may work. There is some specificity to it. There's certain inspiration and enthusiasm to it, right? So the feminine say, I feel like we're ready. Like energetically, they can sense that we're both ready to give it another goal uh, or the first goal, finally. <laughs> whatever it is for your situation, right? To start talking to each other again, maybe, right? So this is a real consideration of the timing and the readiness. And the answer is we are both ready. I can feel it. How are the masculines seeing the connection? Six of Pentacles clarified by King of Pentacles. Yeah, masculines want to make sure that they have enough to offer. That they are the worthy partner, that they could be the good whatever husband to wife to gender how resonates father or mother um that they will be able to feel like a worthy partner not like somebody who is like living up always living up to be as good as their partner is which is divine feminine for them of course 
So they're actively working on this balancing out the giving and receiving, especially if there's already been a tendency where in this specific dynamic, feminine has been given a lot and masculines haven't really been given much or anything maybe at all right now it's like this realization comes in and catching up towards what can i give what that could they be so that it's balanced right like balance is the key word here not just kind of like i'm gonna buy my way in to my feminine but what what actions what behavior from my side would make it a balanced relationship and yes they are mostly thinking resources again practical things but as they catch up on that level because that's the first thing that they assess the emotional part which will catch on to that because one if this is balanced like the material stuff is balanced emotional has to be balanced as well as otherwise it's just not going to be balanced because it's all energy it works together you can't separate them especially not not in people's relationships you know Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for being with me, guys. I love you all, and I'll be back with more readings very, very soon.